Hello everyone, this is Sound Drought, and in this video, I'll be covering the full history of my server, Sounds World. It's one of the largest Discord servers on the platform, with over 370,000 members, and I have no idea how. But it wasn't always like this. My server originally began as Sound Drought's YouTube fan club, and it was practically a ghost town at the beginning. This empty era of my server's birth has almost been forgotten now, since not many people joined the server back then. But I thought this period in time was quite interesting, so I've decided to chronicle it in this video for your viewing pleasure. So let's start at the beginning. June 1st, 2018. The Big Bang happened, and my server came into existence. It wasn't as empty as you'd expect. To show you what it looked like, I'll play a special, never-before-seen trailer that I created for the server just two weeks after it was made. Roll the clip. Looking closer at the video, you can see quite a lot of differences. For example, there was an off-topic and other languages channel. There was even a channel that was for suggesting videos. It debuted with Mi6's leveling system, which is still very popular in the server to this day. And you can see the Discord logo was the same as my YouTube's profile picture. Lastly, the entire purpose of my server was for fans of my YouTube channel to come and talk together. So the same as today. And that's why it was called Sound Droughts YouTube fan club, as you can see here. The next major change came to the server on August 13th, 2018. This is when the server received a simplified logo and name. You can see the logo here, it's a simpler version of my original profile picture, and it stuck through the server's early history for quite a while. The name was also shortened to Sound Droughts Fan Club. In terms of growth, Sound Droughts YouTube Fan Club was dead. It only accumulated 80 members or so after the first four months since it came out. The first growth spurt happened in October of 2018. Around this time is when I did Roblox live streams, and during these live streams I gave away stuff to people. Some of these streams became really popular, and lots of people joined the server because of them. There are some channels in the server that still exist, but are just hidden, and show this. And Fact of the Day was created during this time, with the first fact being on October October 18th, 2018. In the same month, I changed the logo to be spooky themed, and then it changed again on the day of Halloween to be even spookier. Now this is a trend that would continue on through the years, and you can even see a Christmas logo here alongside an invite, showing the members that we had at the time. And I also made a New Year's logo too, that you can see here. There were some small updates during this time, including a level 2 role being added, as well as some inviter roles, and also elite giveaways for level 5 plus, which is really weird to think about. <laughs> Not much else happened until December 24th, 2018, when I uploaded the first Discord video relating to my server where I did a little bit of trolling. This video is undoubtedly what kickstarted my entire server from nothingness as it randomly exploded. Now strangely enough, the video itself remained dormant for an entire month before it started to gain popularity. As you can see by this graph, it was practically a straight line at zero, and then it exploded into hundreds of thousands of views immediately, and it eventually hit the millions. Because this video was directly connected to my Discord server, tens of thousands of people flooded in over a few weeks, and a new era began. At the same time that this video became popular, I worked on several prototypes of a new logo for the server. Here you can see the various designs I came up with. I ended up sticking with the green one for a while since it matched my old logo. Here are some screenshots I found of the server beginning to grow by the thousands. It was only two weeks after this logo was made that I came up with a brand new one. It's the early version of the logo that we use today with some different features. The server kept growing, which was incredible, but it was also a serious issue. We barely had any moderators prior to the new members flooding in, so I often moderated by myself and I had to rush to get new staff. This is a message I wrote that said all of this. The first round of staff weren't announced publicly, but their promotions were. You can see the list here. Somehow, one of these staff is still a moderator in the server to this day, which is insane. I admire their dedication and insanity. 
This was the first wave of staff apps in the server, and the next one would only be less than a month later. By February 17th, 2019, the server reached over 11,000 members, and that means in just three weeks, it grew 13 times larger from the 800 members it had before. A week after this happened, the early prototype logo I created from before was cleaned up, and it became the one we use today, the Sounds World logo. Wait. But the server wasn't called Sounds World yet. On February 26, 2019, I created a poll in the announcements channel of my server to change the server name. By an astounding margin, Sounds World won the poll and became the server name. It hasn't changed since then. In the results of the second staff wave, on the 11th of March 2019, you can see a lot of notable figures become a staff, including Gabbles, who is now a head moderator, OBS, who originally made Sounds Utilities, and Elizabeth, who is currently an admin in the server. Ban appeals made quite a late appearance, as they were introduced on May 3rd, 2019, in the form of a video. Soon after, we had a call all staff role introduced that meant you could ping staff in the event of a problem, but of course this was removed later on since it was abused a lot. Later, on June 4th, 2019, Discord added the ability to boost servers, and since we had around 25,000 members, we reached level 2 pretty fast. This unlocked the animated icon and server banner, so I enabled those things and implemented them. The original animated icon was slightly worse than the one that we use today. You can see them side by side now. However, the banner I made then is still the same that we use today. On October 12th, 2019, the new Halloween logo was introduced. It was a pretty spooky skull. We also did some more updates that included the removal of level 100 and 120 rolls for some reason. Why did those even exist? I think the highest level people were 60 at the time. Fast forward a couple of updates and we land on Christmas 2019, where I did a Christmas karaoke event for a video, and you can see that here. We also switched to a new Christmas logo and banner you can see here, alongside a change to the moderator color roll for a while that made it pink instead of blue. By the start of 2020, we managed to reach 50,000 total members. The art poster role was introduced around this time on January 25th of 2020. A few days later, on January 29th, 2020, our bot, Sounds Utilities, was born. It was originally developed by OBS and Ollie, and it was made to replace the bots that we used before, such as Dino or Audija, since they constantly went down. On February 11th, 2020, the fifth wave of staff applicants were all promoted to moderator, a very impressive feat, which hasn't happened since then. On February 25th, 2020, the famous channel's exclusive chat and exclusive VC were created. They were originally for level 30 people, and they were able to where just like today. The counting channel was made around this time, and I made a video when it was released where we counted. It was pretty crazy. Fun fact, the developer of the counter bot included some of my videos on the bot's website, which is really awesome. On March 21st, 2020, the server began to rise in popularity again, and we gained 20,000 members in just a few weeks. This also meant that we gained a ton of nitro boosters, and luckily we soon reached a level 3 boost. Before this surge in new members, nitro boosters had access to exclusive chat, but because of all the new ones, they had to be removed from the channel. The channel Public Simon Says became a thing on March 26th, 2020. This is after our developer Ollie created a bot for the game. It was also used in a video slightly before it was released where I did Simon Says with 350 people. On April 1st, 2020, the first April Fools event happened. For that day, I said that there was a special XP event where the rate was increased to 100 times. Of course, chats went ballistic at this change and it wasn't real. It was also in a video, so you can check that out here if you want to see it. Soon after, my YouTube channel reached 100,000 subscribers on May 4th, 2020, and around this time I decided to make a new server for when the main one went down. It was called the Outage Server, and you can see the graphics I designed for it here. 
The Outage server was a clone of Sounds World that allowed people to talk in another server with the same channels and VCs. It only opened when the main server crashed so people could talk there, which was almost every day. Thanks, Discord. Another channel came into existence on May 21st, 2020, where the only one message channel opened. It was a channel that allowed users to post just a single message before they'd be permanently muted from the channel. It was a fun idea, and the channel still exists in the archive, as you can see here, but it was eventually closed because it was a bit useless. Then, on May 27th, 2020, the server reached an amazing 100,000 members. For the occasion, I decided to give away a bunch of nitros that you can see in this message here. As people in the server continued to level up, the channels in the server also had to be bumped up from their original levels to meet with this higher leveling. Some of the changes began on June 3rd, 2020, when exclusive chat was moved up to level 40 and some other their channels changed. Now we get into the real meat of awesome things that were introduced into the server. For example, the Patreon for Sounds Utilities opened up on June 8th, 2020, which supports our bot developers in maintaining and running Sounds Utilities. Right now, we have over 15 Patreons a month, and it's about that number every month, so I'm very thankful to everyone that has become a Patreon. Then, the Staff of the Month role started to become publicly announced on June 9th, 2020, and it was originally Staff of the Week before this announcement, uh, but it was changed afterwards. The introduction of Staff Day also coincided on that day, where we would lock the server for 24 hours on the 4th of every month to give our staff members a break, you know? We chose the 4th of every month because it was the date of the first ever staff applications in the server. The subreddit for Sounds World opened on June 14th, 2020, where people could post their favorite memes or other cool stuff. Not really, it was just memes. And the most trending ones would be posted in the top Reddit post channel from then on. The Sounds World Minecraft server opened on June 27th, 2020, with help from our bot developers and other staff members. It was an economy survival server, and you can find the original map in this video here that I made. This one here, alongside the opening, was the store where you could buy and sell items. The first ever Staff of the Month was chosen on July 4th, 2020, with Graciella taking home a $10 Nitro for being the first one. Once again, an update happened in the server on July 15th, 2020, that increased the level requirement for many channels in the server including exclusive chat to level 50 plus and nitro boosters also gained their own channel in this update as well on july 17th 2020 bonus xp friday was introduced which meant every friday from then on had a 12 hour period of 50 percent more xp than normal as soon as this update was announced, Cloudflare, the service used to run many Discord bots, and Discord itself crashed into flames. It was pretty crazy to say the least. <laughs> there was a bad incident on July 29th, 2020, where a staff member was tricked into promoting someone, and the person they promoted pinged everyone multiple times. It was pretty much the most major event of abuse slash rating in the server we have ever experienced. However, it wouldn't be the last. My website, soundrout.com, was released on August 19th, 2020, thanks to the help of my developer, Dank. Booster Chat was removed on August 22nd, 2020, because it was incredibly inactive and barely anyone talked there. They were given reaction perms as a replacement to this chat. In the same update, moderators no longer became in charge of posting art. It was now solely left to the art posters in the server. We also reached 150,000 members as of that post, which was pretty incredible growth, as you can see from this graph. On August 28th, 2020, Discord announced that they would be opening their partner applications once again. And of course, I decided to apply. I even made a vote in the server about which logo they liked more, and I think think you can see the winner. Two weeks later, on my birthday, the server became partnered with Discord, which was pretty incredible. To celebrate the occasion, I quickly made a animated logo, where the S in the logo changed to the partner logo, and it sticked around for a couple of days. So my merch was announced on September 26, 2020, with the reveal dates of each design. 
they were slowly rolled out over the course of two weeks. This design was similar to the Sounds World logo, but with coloring to match my profile picture, it was probably the coolest one. My merch is still available to this day if you want to check it out. Link is in the description. Um, I recommend it, it's pretty cool. Now, in terms of growth, my YouTube channel had reached 200,000 subscribers, with the server having 191,000 subscribers at the time, on September 30th, 2020. This means in only four months, the server doubled in size from 100k, which was pretty crazy. On October 1st, 2020, a new Halloween update was released alongside some other changes. This came with a brand new Halloween logo that was now animated, including a custom banner which we didn't have in last year. The outage server that we made a while back became useless around this time. That's because we implemented a fix that stopped crashes from happening in the main server. On October 4th, 2020, the outage server was replaced with the emoji server, a place where people with nitro could collect some extra emojis as the main server ran out of emoji slots. Soon after, on October 10th, 2020, Nitro Boosters had their reaction perms revoked because of the spam, <laughs> and Super Chat was added to the server for level 10 plus people. On Halloween day, the verified and level 5 plus role was changed to be more orange to be spooky. This only lasted for one day though. The Minecraft server that was released 5 months prior had been slightly neglected, so it was relaunched on November 6, 2020 with a brand new map and various new game modes, including survival, kit pvp, and duels. I announced on December 1st, 2020 that I would start giving away XP by dropping giveaways in various channels. I also made a rather messy spreadsheet that included the amount of XP I dropped on each day. It ended up being a total of 25,000 XP over the whole month, which was pretty cool. On December 4th, 2020, there was another update, and Staff of the Month was not given to any staff member on the team. This was the first time that had ever happened before. Moderators had their role color changed to pink again, just like last Christmas, that was their idea, not mine, and the How to Post art channel came out giving a guide into how to post your art. There was a lot of steady growth for the server. This meant that we were at 250,000 members by the start of 2021. It was pretty incredible. That means we grew 50,000 members in just three months. On the 4th of January 2021, I announced that, once again, Staff of the Month didn't have an owner. This was the second time in a row that it had happened. We decided to add a VC chat and stream chat so people could type with others that are in a VC. This was added on January 17th, 2021 alongside some other updates. After this, we released our latest staff applications on February 3rd, 2021. Luckily, on staff day after, I announced that Undermaster had earned himself Staff of the Month, breaking the chain of nobody having it. In an update on February 25th, 2021, we removed the previously added VC chat and stream chat due to how little they were used. And anime chat went with it too, since it was constantly misused. There were some other things changed in the update that you can see here. By March 10th, 2021, the server reached a staggering 300,000 members. This meant that we grew another 50k members since the start of the year. The growth just kept going. On March 27th, 2021, we had another mass ping occurrence. This happened when Dank Memer could be abused by using slash commands to ping the verified role. This mass pinging also happened in a multitude of other servers across Discord that supported Dank Memer and slash commands. So it wasn't only us that faced this issue. Luckily, the bot patched this bug and slash commands were disabled as a result in my server. On April 1st, 2021, the next April Fools event took place where the admin Walker decided to work with our bot developer developer OBS to fake the mod applications opening again. It was pretty hilarious to say the least. This link would take you to the Rickroll video of course, and it probably made a lot of people mad to get Rickrolled in 2021. On April 4th, 2021, a major update occurred to the bot Sounds Utilities. This meant that all prior punishments had been cleared from people's history, and we had new developers on board as OBS and Ollie decided to retire from the team. The new developers were Vetlix, Axis, and my website developer Dank. 
they worked on the bot to make sure it ran smoother with less bugs. One month later, on May 4th, 2021, we decided to add a new bot called OWOBOT. Oh god. It was designed to replace the previous bot we used for Pokemon features, like catching monsters and fighting with them. The last mass ping event that happened in the server was on May 27th, 2021, when a user abused the Teespring merch webhook to ping the verified role. In case you don't know, webhooks are sort of like bots, but their permissions can't be revoked, so there's nothing we could have done. For a solid 8 months since the merch sales channel was added, nobody abused this mechanic. So I guess we got lucky? We can skip to the very latest update of the server, on June 23rd, 2021. In this update, a couple of rules were changed, and we added a no life chat for level 70 plus people in the server. Somehow, there are quite a lot of people with level 100 plus now, and a lot more catching up. There are a lot of dedicated people in the server, clearly. <laughs> well, that's it. You're now up to date with the history of changes and growth of Sounds World. We're now sitting at 386,000 members as of making this video, which means another 86k members have joined in just the last 3 months. It's incredible how much the server has grown, and how many truly dedicated people we have. I'd like to give a special thanks to all of the staff members and developers that have been and are currently in the server for taking good care of it over the years alongside me. I hope that Sounds World can continue to grow into something awesome in the future. Thanks to everyone that's in my server for just chatting, as well as giving us your support. And of course, thank you for watching the video. It's been a long one, that's for sure. Well, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.